Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's take a look at a tool called CubeWatch. So basically what CubeWatch does is it monitors for events in your Kubernetes cluster and sends notification to a list of communication channels that you configure. So things like Slack, so you can integrate CubeWatch with Slack, HipChat, Mattermost, few other things as well. It monitors for events, so things like when a pod gets created, deleted, terminated, when a new deployment starts and things like that. So all those events, you can configure which namespace you want to monitor or by default, if you want to monitor all the namespaces, everything that's happening in your Kubernetes cluster and you want to send that to a communication channel like HipChat, Mattermost, then you can do it. Okay, let's take a look at their website. Sorry, not their website, their GitHub repository. So if I search for CubeWatch, okay, so okay, so there are a few ways that you can install CubeWatch. You can install CubeWatch directly inside the cluster so that it runs as a pod, and you can also run CubeWatch locally on your machine using Docker containers, or you can download CubeWatch binary and you can start using configure and start using CubeWatch. So installation, so there are two in installation. One is cluster installation and local installation. So when it comes to cluster installation, we are deploying the CubeWatch inside our Kubernetes cluster. And there are a couple of ways. One is the easiest way for me and which we are gonna do in this video is using Helm to deploy CubeWatch pods. Okay, so that's one of the installation method using Helm, which I prefer. And the other one is using kubectl. So basically you will have have to generate you will have to create a configuration map for your cube watch and then you create a part and then you run the pod and that will deploy the CubeWatch pod that uses the configuration basically. Okay, so if you look at the configuration, so later we will do the Helm way of installation, but all you need is, you need to define what you want to monitor, right? So here it says what I want to monitor, deployment, false, and services true, cluster role true. So you have the freedom to choose what you want to monitor. So we will come to that in a minute. So that's using the Helm method and there's also the Cube CT method and they've given us a simple example configuration map so if I open that URL so it's the this is the config map so change these settings as per your need if you want to monitor a deployment change that to true and then once you've got your configuration created using this command here kubectl create minus f and the configuration map uh, yaml manifest that you've got and then you just need to create a pod that uses that configuration map so if I open that pod URL so this is a sample pod URL you can also make it as a deployment so the moment this is just a pod manifest and if you look in here it uses the cube watch image and it uses a volume which is based on the config map that we generated that was uh, given earlier in this example so those are the two methods directly installing using kubectl or using helm if you want to install it inside your cluster if not there is local installation method you just download the cube watch binary using go command and uh, cube watch configuration so here's the configuration to integrate it with slack so the example here is kubewatch config add slack so we are adding the slack integration and the two things that you would need is the channel name that you want to send notifications to and the token okay so i've already created those for this demo purpose so this is the just me and open source slack workspace probably most of you many of you might be in this workspace let me take a look so we've got 338 people here so in this Slack workspace, I've created a channel just for testing this video. So CubeWatch demo, and I've got a custom Slack app called JustBot, and now I've um, added permission for that bot to be able to post into this particular channel. And I know the Slack token, the user authentication token for this JustBot. So that's beyond the scope of this video. So you basically need to create your own app and give it permission so that it can post messages to your channel. So I've got everything covered here. And then you can use Docker to run KubeWatch and so on. So enough talking, let's get to business. So we're gonna be using Helm to install KubeWatch. Let me go back to the terminal and I've got kubectl and I'm running a Kubernetes cluster that's based on Ranchers K3ES. So all these containers are basically Docker containers. All these Kubernetes nodes are basically Docker containers. I've done videos, I've done many videos on Rancher K3ES, K3D if you want, you can have a look. So basically I've got my Kubernetes cluster and I've also got Helm helm installed so if i do helm version i've got helm version 3.4.1 okay let me tell you that i don't have 
the extra repository enabled but if I do helm repo list I only got the stable repository and if I search for cube watch helm search repo cube watch there will be one yeah stable cube watch but as you can see here description it's deprecated so we are not going to use the cube watch chart helm chart from the stable helm repository instead we're going to be using bitnami's chart repository helm repository to install cube watch all right so let's install let's add the bitnami repository to our helm first helm repo add bitnami and the url here and if you want to look at this url you can search for helm bitnami repo and in their github documentation they have, they would have told how to add the repository it's it's here helm repo add bitnami and that's the url for their helm chart repository okay so once we add that we're gonna do helm repo update so that just to make sure that all the charts are updated and in sync helm repo update so if i do helm search repo cube watch again we should be seeing two cube watch one from the stable repository and one from the bitnami yeah the bitnami cube watch chart version is 3.0.0 app version is 0.1.0 so I'm going to use this one to install but before installing it I want to configure it so as you all know helm supports the values file so you can while installing helm it basically comes with the default set of options but if you want to override the default set of options so first what we're gonna do is helm show values Bitnami cube watch so basically what it does is it downloads the values file the manifest I'm download I'm redirecting that to slash temp cube watch values .yaml, and then we will configure we'll make some changes to the values and then we will use that file while the installation and let's edit that file and I just want to edit few things here basically I want to edit what I want to monitor okay so if I scroll down those are the image section slack okay so slack is enabled by default hip chat is disabled hip chat is not enabled Disable, Mattermost, Disable, Flock is Disable, it even supports Microsoft Teams. Let me first set up my Slack thing. So Slack is enabled but I need to specify which channel I want to send the notifications to. So my Slack channel is Cube Watch Demo. Let's change that. Cube Watch Demo and the token here. So my token is this one here. That's my token that gives my Slack bot access to post messages to my channel. Okay, let's copy that and paste it here. So that's all done. So now I want to configure what I want to monitor. So if I scroll further down, namespace to watch. By default, if you leave this empty, it will monitor all the namespaces and if you don't want too much traffic going into your slack workspace you can restrict which namespace you want to monitor so in my case i'm going to say i only need to monitor what's going on in my default namespace okay resources to watch deployment true replication controller false replica set i'm just going to change that to true daemon set true services true pod is true persistent volumes True. So that's basically the changes that I'm making and one important thing is if you go all the way to the bottom you need to enable RBAC and here it says RBAC create as false. I want to change that to true. If you leave that as false it won't work. The service account that this helm chart is going to create won't have access to list the parts and various other things. So basically you need to change that to set RBAC to true. Service account cube watch or you can just leave it uh, empty it will generate a random name for your service account so it's going to create a cube watch service account okay so let me show you what's in my default namespace at the moment cube ctl get all i don't have anything so now let's install this helm chart helm install my cube watch so that's the name of the helm release that we are deploying in our kubernetes cluster and that's the actual chart bitnami slash cube watch and we are passing minus minus values file which we just downloaded and edited let's install that so hopefully we will get some parts running here kubectl get all okay so my cube watch container is getting created and if i do helm list so we have my cube watch okay so let's take a look and now it still says container is getting created let's wait for a while 
kubectl get all okay so now the container is running let's take a look at the logs for this container okay kubectl logs minus f my cube watch so that's the part here i'm looking at the logs for this particular part okay so you can see here what's going on inside the part message successfully sent to channel so it has already sent some message i don't know what the message it has sent to my slack channel let's take a look there we go cube watch a replica set in namespace has been updated which is default my cube watch uh, a deployment has been updated a pod has been updated and so on okay let's do some more verification okay kubectl get all so let's try and create an nginx container and see what's going on kubectl create deploy nginx minus minus image nginx and if i do that and you can see the logs for the cube watch pod it says message successfully sent let's take a look okay cube watch created in namespace default has been created a pod has been created updated updated and there are lots of things going on basically whatever you see in the events kubectl get events so all these things is basically sent to your slack workspace okay now let's try and delete that deployment kubectl get all so our nginx pod deployment is running let's delete that kubectl delete deploy nginx that's gone and back in here you can see deployment in the namespace default has been deleted and you can also see which one is being deleted that's nginx okay and there's also the color code here orange or amber is whenever a resource is uh, being updated getting updated you get orange or amber whenever a new resource is getting created you get the green color bar and dark red is for whenever a resource is deleted and so on so that's what I wanted to show you and I'm also going to clean up Helm list and I'm gonna delete that Helm delete my cube watch cube CTL get all okay so everything is gone I think that's all I wanted to show you it's a quick little thing maybe you can play with configuring other uh, channels communication channels in this video I've shown you about the slack ones but there is also uh, let's take a look what it supports okay so it supports slack hipchat mattermost flock a generic webhook or an smtp so I'm gonna leave it with you to play with other communication channels other webhooks and let me know if you've got anything working okay right and um, that's it I'll see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye